Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. A box? What's in the box? Well, if you'll just be patient. Is it a present for me? Well, no, it's not a present. Because my birthday is coming up in just eight months. Oh, I didn't know that. But no, it's not a present. Or maybe it's a late Christmas present. Better late than never, right? Uh, uh, right, right. But the thing is... Tell you what, it doesn't matter why you got me a gift. The important thing is you care. You've got to be one of the most thoughtful pastors I know. You're kind, considerate, and thoughtful. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Um, Anna, I don't know how to tell you this, but this box is not a gift for you. It's for our lesson. Oh. Never mind. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with today's special co-host, Anna. Hello. And today, we're going to have some fun learning about the promised land. The promised land? Hmm. What's the matter? Well, I've heard of the promised land at church, but if I'm honest, I'm not quite sure what it is. Well, the promised land was that area of land that God the Father swore to give his chosen people the descendants of Abraham. And the territory was located in ancient Canaan on the eastern end of the Mediterranean Sea. I don't see Canaan on this map. That's because today it is known as Israel. Oh, now that I've heard of. What's so special about this land anyway? Well, let's take a look at our verse for the day. It comes from Genesis 13, 15, where it says, all the land that you see, I will give to you and to your offspring forever. So is this the same land that the Israelites ended up in after wandering in the desert for 40 years? Yes, that's exactly what it is. God gave specific details of the boundaries and he told Moses that the land shall not be sold in perpetuity for the land is mine. Perpetuity? That means forever. Wow, it must be a special place. Let me share a few cool facts about Israel. Did you know it's only about 290 miles from north to south? That's it? Yeah, it's actually smaller than the state of New Jersey. No way! But the landscape is astonishingly varied. What do you mean? Well, imagine skiing down the snowy slopes of Mount Hermon one minute and then driving a couple hours south so you can go snorkeling in the crystal clear waters of the Red Sea in Islet a little later in the day. You're kidding! And then there's the Galilee region with lush greenery and rolling hills And there's also the stark beauty of the Negev Desert, home to breathtaking waterfalls. What in the world? And if that's not enough, you can float around in the Dead Sea, which is the lowest point on Earth. I've heard of that. Oh, and don't forget about the rich history involving their culture and, of course, Jesus. Oh, yeah. That's kind of a biggie. Oh, it sure is. And listen to these fun facts. Israel has the most computers, most museums, and most college degrees per capita than any place in the world. It's the only country in the Middle East where the number of Christians is actually increasing. Life expectancy in Israel is 82 years old, and Israel is the 11th happiest country in the world. Plus, believe it or not, you can actually buy hummus-flavored ice cream in Jaffa. Oh man, it sounds incredible! Maybe that's why God called it the land flowing with milk and honey. Flying with milk and honey? Yeah, that means it was full of all kinds of good things. Man, I wish I could visit. Well, today we're going to experience the next best thing with our object lesson in a box. What are you talking about? I just got the latest package from Artsa. Artsa? Yeah, Artsa is a subscription business that delivers all kinds of cool crafts and arts and goodies straight from Israel to my door. It's like getting a little slice of the Holy Land here at the house every three months. No way! So that's what the box was for? Sure is. Shall we open it? Oh yeah! Let's get to it then.
parts called the Promised Land. Biblical history, rich farmland, beautiful mountains, a desert, and awesome coastal regions. What's not to like? Plus, they make some pretty cool stuff. Arts of boxes are a great way to learn about the Holy Land. Not only that, besides being a real place, the Promised Land is also a concept. What do you mean? Well, it's a figure of speech that points us to Jesus and the promise of the kingdom of God. You mean heaven? Exactly. If you think Israel is something, you ain't seen nothing yet. I can't wait. You got that right. Trusting God to deliver on his promises and on the promised land is a beautiful thing. So, Anna, what did you learn today? I learned that the promised land is that area of land that God promised Abraham and Moses. It was originally known as Canaan, but today it's called Israel, and it's pretty amazing. Exactly. And the promised land is also a figure of speech that points us to Jesus and his promise of the kingdom of heaven. Very good. Now, all this talk about milk and honey made me think of another object lesson in a box. Oh, really? What's that? Honeycombs. Ow, brother. Let's pretend that this bull is the promised land. And since God called it, the land of milk and honey will fill it with honeycombs like this. Um, God actually said that Israel was flowing with milk and honey. No problem. I can make it flow. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot the milk. Should I do it again? Uh, no. We'll see you around. <laughs> hey, today's episode was sponsored by one of our favorite partners, Artsa. If you'd like to learn more about their quarterly subscription boxes, just click the link in the description below. This is an amazing tool for the entire family or classroom where you can learn about the Holy Land and actually experience it right in your own home or classroom. And it's also a good way to support family moments as we are an affiliate, which means when you support Arsa, you're supporting us, not a bad deal. If you decide to subscribe to Arsa, you can click the link in the description below and then be sure to use our promo code, Family Moments 25 to get a discount. And then send us a picture of you receiving your first box so we can share that on our Facebook page. That's all for now. Shalom.